What's going on, everybody? Sigourney Jackson here with another episode of Hoop Politics. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. To stay up to date on everything that is Hoop Politics. So like I said before in the past, we're kind of switching up the channel a little bit, and we're going to try to be a lot more organized on what we're doing. So this right here is going to be our first episode officially of Highlight Tape Tuesday. Highlight Tape Tuesday is gonna be more of an interactive type of segment that we're gonna have in the channel where we're gonna take you, the viewers, basketball players who have highlight tapes, and we're gonna start breaking them down and showing what you can do better, what you have weaknesses at, what you do great, and just where we kind of see you as far as your level or where you can be or where you possibly can be if you work a little bit harder and clean some stuff up. Now, this isn't the first highlight tape that we've done. Of course, we've been doing this for a while, but I just think it's proper that we give it a certain name and so you know what to expect. This is gonna be every Tuesday, well, really every other Tuesday, we're gonna be operating Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So every other Tuesday, you can expect the highlight tape Tuesday. Whew, that was a mouthful, but this is our very first one officially is Highlight Tape Tuesday and it's going to be dedicated to you, Jason Burrell, a six foot seven shooting guard from Johnson County Community College, super athletic, three level score, has NBA potential for sure. And we're going to break down what it is that he does great, what are some of the things he has to work on and how he can work on those things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. He's got in transition, in and out. This right here is already showing that he has good handle on the ball. Switch hands, explode right in that midsection between the, the charge line as well as the free throw line. Great finish. Bring between the legs, step back. That is incredible. Good lift on the jump shot. Good separation. Long. He can shoot over defenders. Taking his time. Good footwork between the legs. Another step back. And that's cash. This right here is already showing that he definitely can handle the ball at six foot seven. This makes him just already high major really off of that alone but look at this explosion look how he takes off the pump the finish over the defender this is not something that you can teach this is something that only is god given jason burrell definitely has this here he comes again right off the screen one dribble into the pull-up high release cash the worst thing ever is when you're guarding somebody who's bigger than you and then who also has a high release oh my god like i was saying who has a high release is able to shoot the ball you know, there's no guarding that. Oh my God, throw it to the left, ring between the legs, good dime. Punch that, okay, big man finish and made that a highlight reel for sure. In and out, step back into the mid range. This right here has already shown me now three level score. Three point line consistently getting to the rack and now he's pulling up into that mid range. He's bringing the ball up the court. This right here is really good. Step back right into the top of the key, cash. I'm already seeing everything I need to see Another good dime, has good vision, is able to see over the defense, great shot creator, great at creating for others, between the legs, throw it to the left, hezzy, pull up, cash. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Six stuff I'm watching right now, pull up again, cash. Sick stuff, I'm liking this. I love sick behavior for anybody who doesn't know. The sickos is what changed the world. The sickos is what changes basketball. I'm seeing sick behavior right now. Right hand, hezzy, pull up, cash in the mid range, that's tough. That's tough. Okay, take your time. We'll pull up then. If they gonna step back, pull up. I love it. I absolutely love it. Y'all don't know how difficult it is to do a hezzy pull up into the three point or really just into any jump shot. Oh my God. Don't do that. That's a hate crime. That is a hate crime. But there's, but you really don't know how, how difficult it is to just be able to do a hezzy pull up with your right hand when you're a right handed shooter. It's easier to bring it from your left into your right because that's more of a natural motion almost like dribbling to your right and pulling up or doing a step back on the right side and shooting over that left shoulder. Very, very skilled move to do. Okay, get into the, okay, get up there. Yeah, this guy, this guy, he's an athlete. He's just an athlete. Good pull up again. Good pull up again. We got, he's posting up, posting up catch it are you gonna face up face up okay bean fade right there cash that's good enough i love just the just the three level scoring i mean you got good mechanics on your jump shot i know I'm, I'm repeating myself but there's just not a lot of bad things to say about this i mean when you have a high release good mechanics it's fluid you go with your natural body motion when you're going from right to left you're not trying to be stiff and stay faced up that's not how you shoot the ball you're pulling up right here into these mid ranges and pulling up over smaller defenders you're not trying to force it and get to the rim and causing charges 
crossover into the pull-up again. This guy's high major. This guy's high major. As simple as that. He was already a four-star recruit coming out of high school. It shows. But this guy's a high major talent, and he's definitely somebody who needs to be watched on NBA draft boards. I don't understand why anybody wouldn't take him right now. This is this is this is incredible to watch. I'm not even lying to you right now. Move without the ball, catch, shoot. Man, this this, this is ridiculous. Okay, pull up. Way to use way to use the rim for protection. What we got? What we got? Post up again. Spin move. Good finish. And one. Way to finish through contact. Way to finish through contact. On the fast break. Good euro. Good finish. And one. Get it off the rim and push it. Let me see what you're gonna do. Oh no, we on. <laughs> Never mind. We was on offense. Good. Okay. Good pass. Cash. Good defense. Good pass. Good pass. My man threw up the goggles. He threw up the Andre Godella goggles. Good God. Euro, excuse me. That's tough. That's tough. Go board. Good fadeaway. Top of the key. Cash. Now, like I said before, Jason, you're definitely a great basketball player. High level for sure. Athletic. Can shoot the ball. High release. Can shoot it over to people. Three level score. I've seen everything I need to see on the offensive end from a one on one perspective. Truly one of the more polished scores I've seen as far as breaking down highlight tapes up until this point. But just like anybody else, there's always room for improvement. The main thing that I think that you should probably focus on going forward is building your body. You have a long athletic frame. You have a typical NBA wing type of size and physique. However, you have to put on that weight because at the next level and where I see you going, you're going to have to be able to not only score on other wings, but you're going to also have to be able to defend on wings. I didn't see a lot of the defenders being physical with you when you're driving, when you're getting into your mid-range pull-up. I didn't see a lot of them trying to lay their body on you and try to make it difficult for you. So it leads me to believe that maybe you're not great at scoring the basketball when you have more physical defenders, or maybe you are, but your go-to is being able to shoot over defenders. But I want to see what can you do if you take that bump, when you take that physical bump, can you still pull up, stay on balance, and hit those pull-up mid-range jump shots as well as a three-point jump shot. What I would also like to see more is the next phase of your game is working off of the pick and roll. You got the ball a lot of times in one-on-one -on -one settings and that's great because it's easy to see that you're good at scoring the ball in ISO scenarios. But at the next level, a lot of scoring is also done in the pick and roll. Can you work off of that pick and roll switch and be able to create for yourself and create for others? Are you able to snake the screen? Are you able to go into floaters? Are you able to make that pocket pass into your big rolling? Are you able to see the floor and be able to see the next pass over? The next thing I will say is, are you able to get easy baskets? And what I mean by easy baskets is, I watched an entire highlight tape where you were shooting the ball, catch and shoot, that's great. That's something that every basketball player should know. You have individual moves, that's great. Something everybody should know. But I didn't see a lot of you crashing the glass and being able to score the basketball from there. Yes, you had the rebound into the mid-range fadeaway pull-up and I love it. But I would want to see more of that. At 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, you'd only average 5.8 rebounds a game. To me, that's not enough. You have to dominate the glass. You have to be active at all times. You have to be searching for your shot and not necessarily when the ball is in your hand. You have to make yourself available to score more often. Playing defense, getting in transition, crashing the glass, posting up. You have the capabilities of being an all-around incredible basketball player who cannot be stopped. And last but not least, what I would love to see more than anything is your mental. The biggest jump that you're going to make in your basketball career at this point is the mental. The game is going to slow down for you in a way that doesn't for a lot of other people because their game isn't on the level that yours is. Are you able to get 20 points in an easy fashion where you don't have to put a lot of work in? Are you able to see defenses before they happen? You're able to get past many defenders one-on-one, -on -one, but the next phase is going to be what are you going to do when that next defender pops up? 
because when you get to a certain point in scoring, what you realize is it doesn't matter who's in front of me, I'm gonna get by them. Now I need to be able to see where's the defense coming from from here. If I have a shooter over in the left-hand corner, I know that his defender is not gonna help off because he knows that he's gonna hit that shot. So I know that the next defender is gonna come from the right side. So my big is gonna be available for that pass. But if somebody slides and drops down to him, can I see that other skip pass in the opposite corner for the jump shot? Can he make that jump shot? If not, I got to be able to not only beat my man, but then be able to get into that mid range and pull up or get by him and finish at the rim. This is all the mental things that scores do at a high level that make the game easier. And something my coach always said is a lot of times people's game, they're seeing this when they play, they're seeing all of this, but eventually you're going to get to the point where it's going to turn into this and you're gonna start being able to see things clearly. I'm not sure if you're fully there yet. Of course, it's really hard to see in just highlight tapes because of course they're only highlights, but I would love to see more games. I think that you're definitely a high major division one basketball player. You should be playing in the ACC, SEC, damn near wherever you wanna play, honestly. But I look forward to seeing what you do next. I'm gonna definitely be watching, I'm gonna definitely be tuning in wherever you go, wherever you play at. And if you go to a small division one or a mid-major division one, I expect you to dominate. I expect you to be a newcomer of the year. I expect you to be a first team all conference, honorable mention. I expect all that. And I expect you to be a top level defensive basketball player because you have the capabilities of that. You just have to want to do it. And that's all I got. I know that was extremely long, but I just love doing this so much. Jason, great talent. Please make sure that you know you reach out to me if you ever need anything. For anybody else out there who wants a highlight tape done, DM it to me on Instagram at hoop underscore politics. You have to be following the Instagram and the YouTube and the Twitter. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with a friend. If you know somebody who has a highlight tape that's really good, tell them to comment, say what's up, put it below. I'll check it out for sure. And always remember, God's always in control. Peace.